Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Harsha Wali Khan. So far, 12 problems I have completed on computing the income from capital gain. So now in this video, I am going to continue 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Five problems I am going to complete in this video. So if you want the complete knowledge, watch the video till the end. Don't skip in between and watch in continuity one video with the another one. Because if you join in between, you may not be able to understand. And all the problems are based on the theory. So before watching the problems, first you must be perfect on the provisions that I have explained in the theory. So if you have not watched, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject income tax for assessment year 21-22. Then select the videos of capital gain. Now I'm going to start the 13th problem. So before starting 13th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the solution of these five problems, then I'll explain all the points in detail. See the 13th one. <clears throat> uh, during the previous year, relevant to the current assessment year, Srimati Swapana sold the following assets. Compute the income from capital gain and tax liability if income under other head is nil for the current assessment year. So we are required to compute the income from capital gain and tax liability of Srimati Swapna. So particulars are given house let out for commercial purpose, open land in city and gold. All the three are capital assets and the gain arising on the sale of these capital assets is fully taxable. Now date of purchase 21st March 1999 and date of sale 13th Jan 2021. It's a long term capital asset because the asset is held for more than three years. Whenever the asset is held for more than three years, it is a co called long term capital asset and gain arising is a LTCG. Second, open land in city, purchased on 1st May 2005 and sold on 13th Jan 2021, current previous year. Current previous year is 2020-21 and assessment year is 21-22. So again, it is a long term capital asset because held for more than three years. Then gold, purchased on 4th May 2009 and sold on 13th Jan 2021 again held for more than three years so all the three assets are long-term capital assets and gain arising will be LTC now purchase price is given sale price is given transfer expenses that is allowed as deduction then cost inflation index 2005 2006 is 117 and 2009 2010 is 148 that's all now see carefully Srimati Swapna computation of income from capital gain for the assessment year 21-22. So three columns in one table itself I am computing. So first column house, second open land, third gold. Consideration received, this is the sale price. In the problem it is given sale price 26 lakh, 20 lakh, 85,000, 2 lakh. From this we deduct transfer expenses. The transfer expenses are 0.5%, 1%, 2%. So 0.5% of 26 lakh. 26 lakh into 0.5 percent, you'll get 13,000. 20 lakh 85,000 into 1 percent, 20,850. 2 lakh into 2 percent, 4,000. Subtract, you will get net consideration. From this, we deduct indexed cost of acquisition. First house, what is the actual purchase price? 10 lakh 10,000. 10 lakh 10,000 into Current previous year index is 301. It is not given in the problem, but you have to remember. Current previous year is 2020-21. For the 2021, the index number is 301. 301 divided by. When the first house is purchased, 1999. If any asset is purchased before 1-4-2001, because index numbers are available only from 1-4-2001. So any asset purchased before 1-4-2001, we take the index number as 100. So here divide by 100. So 10 lakh 10,000 into 301 by 100, you will get 30 lakh 40,100. Second, open land. 
the purchase price of open land is 585000 into 301 current previous year index divided by the index number of purchase year so in the problem it is given the purchase date was 1st may 2005 the previous year is 56 1st may 2005 the previous year is 2005 2006 so what is the index number for 2005 2006 117 given in the problem so here denominator 170 so 5 lakh 85000 into 301 by 117 15 lakh 5000 lastly gold the purchase price of gold is 38000 into 301 divided by when the gold was purchased 4th may 2009 so our previous year is 9 10 2009 2010 so uh, index number is given in the problem 148. 148. So 38,000 into 301 by 148, you will get 77,284. Now subtract, you will get net uh, long term capital gain or loss. If you get negative value, it's a loss. If you get positive value, it's a gain. So 30 lakh, uh, 25 lakh 87,000 minus 30 lakh 40,100. That means negative. You are getting minus value, so it's a long term capital loss. 4,53,100 is a long term capital loss on sale of house. Now, open land 20,64,150 minus 15,5000. You'll get positive value 5,59,150 positive value. It's a long term capital gain. Now, gold 1,96,000 minus 77,284. You'll get 1,18,716 again positive. It's a long term capital gain. So these two assets you are having long term capital gain. In house you are having long term capital loss. So according to the provisions of income tax act, long term capital loss can be set off from the long term capital gain. So here long term capital gain on land 5,59,150. Long term capital gain on gold is 1,18,716. If you add up both 6,77,866. From this we deduct long term capital law uh, capital loss on sale of house 453100 subtract the so long term capital gain 224766 this is the ltcg now it is given in the problem the ssc srimati sopna does not have any other income she is having only this income no other income and the basic exemption limit for the current assessment year is 250000 so up to 2,50,000 no tax. Tax will be applied over 2,50,000 income. But here the income is below 2,50,000. So the tax liability is nil. No tax is applied because the total income is below 2,50,000. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 13. Now 14th problem. During the previous year relevant to the current assessment year, Mr. Quick purchased a house for 420000 and after 12 months he sold the same for 480000 income tax act says if the house property is sold within 2 years within 2 years from purchase it's a short term capital asset if the asset is held for more than 2 years if the house property is held for more than 2 years it's a long term capital asset so here it is given that within 12 months, here after 12 months, after one year, the house was sold. So Mr. Quick has purchased the house and after 12 months he sold the house. So it is a short term capital asset and gain arising is a short term capital gain. This is the first problem of short term capital gain. So far we have done the problems on long term capital gain. The difference is, two differences I'll explain. The first difference is indexed cost of acquisition will not be calculated, only actual cost we have to take. Whenever short term capital gain is there, actual cost of acquisition we should consider, indexing should not be done. Secondly, the tax rate of LTCG will be at a flat rate of 20%, whereas the tax on short term capital gain is on slab system along with other incomes like other incomes income from salary income from house property all those other incomes we add up and take short-term capital gain also in that one normal income 
that is the difference now here you can see mr quick computation of short term capital gain for the assessment year 21 22 consideration received at what sale price the house was sold and after 12 months he sold for 4 lakh 80000 so consideration received 4 lakh 80000 now brokerage paid to purchase the house 10000 and to sell the house 18000 that means brokerage has been paid on purchasing the house and also brokerage paid on selling the house so brokerage paid on selling the house 18000 that will be deducted from consideration receipt brokerage paid to sell the house 18000 this is transfer expenses simply it is the transfer expenses deduct 18000 462000 net consideration from this we deduct cost of acquisition remember we are not taking indexed cost of acquisition this indexed cost of acquisition we calculate only for ltcg long term capital gain here short term capital gain directly cost of acquisition 4 lakh 80000 but at the time of purchasing the house brokerage was paid how much is the brokerage paid at the time of purchasing the house 10000 this brokerage paid will be added to the cost of acquisition this 4 lakh 20,000 plus 10,000, 4 lakh 30,000. Remember the point. Brokerage paid on selling the house will be deducted from consideration. Brokerage paid on purchasing the house will be added to the cost of acquisition. Right? Now 462 minus 430, 32,000 is the short term capital gain. That's it. It's very easy to calculate STCG. Now 15th problem, Mr. Jimmy purchased the equity shares listed of a limited company on 14th December 2019 for rupees 2 lakh 80,000. On 24th March 2020, he sold the same for 3 lakh 50,000. Again, remember the provision. For equity shares, if it is held for less than one year, it is a short term. If it is held for more than one year, it is a long term. Now we have to see when the shares are purchased and when the shares are sold. The shares are purchased on 14th December 2019. 14th December 2019, 2019 and sold on 24th March 2020. So December is January, February, March. That means Mr. Jimmy hold the shares only for three months. Purchase the shares in December and sold the shares in March. So if the shares are sold within one year, it's a short term capital gain. On uh, the cost inflation index for 2021 was 301. Ignore. Whenever there is a short term capital gain, we should not consider the index number. So after completing the solution, give a note. For short term capital gain, index number should not be considered. Ignore. Calculate capital gain. So here consideration received 3,50,000. The shares are sold for 3,50,000. There is no transfer expenses. Selling expenses are not given. So net consideration same 3 lakh. Minus cost of acquisition. What is the purchase price of the shares? 2,80,000. Deduct 2,80,000. You will get 70,000 short term capital gain. That's it. 15th complete. Now 16th problem. Srimati Rukmini purchased a flat for rupees 14 lakh 50 thousand in Krishna apartments Dwarka on 2nd November 2020 she sold the same to Rakha on 3rd July 2020 that means same year November 2020 purchased and 3rd July 2021 for rupees 16 lakh right the selling expenses was 11,000 cost inflation index 2021 that means when the property, when the asset, here the asset is flat, flat comes under house property. The duration of the house property is two years. If the house property is held for two years or less, it is a short term. If the house property is held for more than two years, it is a long term. So here it is a short term. Term. So index number is given cost inflation index 2021 301. Ignore. Compute income from capital gain for the current assessment year. So here, Srimati Rukmini, computation of income from capital gain. Consideration received 16 lakh, less transfer expense 11,000, 15 lakh 89,000. 
less cost of acquisition 14 lakh 50 thousand deduct so 1 lakh 39 thousand is the short term capital gain that's it one more problem 17th one Sri Deepak Agarwal purchased a machinery for business purpose whose written down value at the beginning of the previous year is 17 lakh 25 thousand during the previous year it sold for 21 lakh 40 thousand selling expenses 11,200 calculate capital gain in the theory explanation I have already explained you that if an asset is used in the business and the asset is a depreciable asset then any gain arising on depreciable asset is a short term capital gain always irrespective of the period of holding now we should not see how many years the asset was held simply two conditions are must be satisfied the first one the asset must be used in the business secondly the asset should be a depreciable asset depreciable asset consists of machinery building furniture machinery building furniture these three are called depreciable asset so if a business is having any of these three asset and during the current year it is sold the gain arising will always be short term <clears throat> so how to calculate the capital gain simply consideration received see Deepak Garwal consideration received 21 lakh 40 thousand from this deduct transfer expenses 11,200 will get net consideration from this deduct written down value WDV written down value of the machinery 17 lakh 25 thousand deduct 4 lakh 3,800 is the short term capital gain so after completing this solution you should write a note that uh, according to the provisions of income tax act any asset which is used in the business and which is a depreciable asset the gain arising will always be a short term capital gain irrespective of the period of holding that point you have to write after completing the solution that's all so totally 17 problems are completed in this in this uh, head of capital gain inshallah the next problem will continue in the next video